So in this video is a response to how to make this particular screw here and this shouldn't take too long. Um, first off let's make a new sketch on one of our planes and I'm going to be revolving this whole thing so all of my diameters I'm actually going to draw as a radius instead. So let's start off with the, uh, the length of the screw. The overall length is 0.562. The diameter of it is 0.25. We're going to divide that by 2, so we should get 0.125. And I'm getting the diameter from this number here. Let's go to my pen tool. Uh, when you're reading a thread note, the first number is the diameter, so a quarter inch thread. And then 20 UNC is 20 threads per inch. C stands for coarsely threaded, unified national course. And that'll come into play later. So we have just this main body from end to end. All right now we want to get this part here. This has a diameter of 0.75. So let's go back to our rectangle tool. I'm going to grab that corner. Oop, unless I don't. I'm going to type in 0.75 divided by 2. And for the width of it, I believe this line is going all the way up to this point here. Okay, so 0 0.094 from this bit. Well, no, maybe not. All right looks like from this point this line to this line is 0.188 and that is what we're looking at over here all right uh, we're gonna make a point on here just make sure you don't click on the midpoint we're gonna make a point on this edge and we're going to make a curve I can find my arc tool from that point back up to your origin uh, SR stands for surface round make that tangent to this and it looks like where that starts to curve does it say it says from this point to this point is our 0.062. So from this tip to this point is 0 0.062. All right, now I am just going to uh, cheat a little bit. I'm going to trim this bit and then just turn that line into a construction line so it doesn't try and show up later and mess up our sketch. This looks like, and it is, these are a couple of object lines that are left over from uh, creating the threads of this. I'm going to trim a couple of things out here and I am going to make this line into a construction line as well. Alright, so we're almost there. I think we could go ahead and revolve this now. Uh, we can do the chamfer as a 3D chamfer or a 2D chamfer. So that number is already accounted for. Yeah, we're almost there. So yeah, let's go ahead and make it as a 2D chamfer. It's 45 degrees by 0 0.03 is the number here. All right, so let's go to chamfer. It assumes 45, so we just type in 0 0.03, click on our two edges, it will take the corner off. We should be able to revolve all of this now around this main axis here. And now we're going to make a new plane. We're going to click on this surface, but we have to reference something from our origin. Alright, now I'll make it on the outside of that plane. 
Let's make a new sketch. We are drawing a rectangle. I'm going to make my rectangle horizontally aligned with the origin. The width of it is 0 0.062. And the amount that it cuts into the screw from the top point here to this line it is showing 0 0.094 I'll show you where that is on here there's our 0.062 that's the width of this here this uh, 0 0.094 is from the top this line all the way down to the bottom this line that's all the dimensions that we have except for the thread, which we still have to add. So let's go ahead and finish our sketch. We're going to extrude, cut, change our distance to all. I'm going to turn off the plane that's on here. And then I have a thread tool, so I'm just going to click that. Click on the outside. Specification, quarter 20 UNC, class 2A, apply, looks good. All right, that should be everything. Glad I could help.